So around this time, it's time to eat. So I want to check out this Korean fried chicken spot on Decker Boulevard. It's called 92 Chicken. So I pulled up. It actually used to be like so many other restaurants before here. So I hope this one lasts a lot longer. So I want to come in and check it out. I actually been trying to find like Chicago style pizza and Korean fried chicken all year. So when I finally found this spot, I was like, cool, let me go in here. I, you know what I'm saying? You know it's going to be Korean fried chicken when they give you the gloves to go with it. Check out the box, though. You know what I'm saying? The box was definitely dope. Um, the chicken. Yeah. I mean, I definitely want to say I was not disappointed and they got these cheese fries with the sauce but look check out this chicken it was like goldenly fried extra crunch everything like i had to take a bite and it was that when you first bite into it i was like yes this is authentic the people behind the counter were great too i will definitely say it was customer service There's two people in there they were working hard the fries with that little sweet cheese sauce it actually yes, went well together so then it ended up at dust world mall i was still buying gifts on my late uh ship uh gift giver so uh, I did find some gifts. Uh, they told me to go downstairs and or well, go uh, across the hall, check out their stuff. So I did. Uh, they have I like have a little boutique and everything. And this is just me talking. Day, all day. Yo, um, thank y'all for following me. This is my first YouTube. Yes. So you're going to see some food. You're going to see some real estate. Uh, you're going to get a pretty much a glimpse in my life. Um, some stuff I forgot to even video record, if that makes sense, as a vlogger. I'm trying to get used to this whole long extended vlogging. Um, yeah, trying to figure out how to do it. I got some big nose. Um, yeah, so right now I'm cruising through like five points. You know, oh, that's wood, so you probably didn't see anything. Probably should not be doing this. Like a hazard or something. Oh. So the question I get the most of is Ken, how do you vlog all of this? Like, what do you look for? And it's really hard to like say because I look for different things. Um, so it's like a, I can feel the situation and know what will fit right um, for like the video, for the fan, like, you know, something that you can relate to. Um, then the other thing is, is like some things I just don't feel. And if I don't feel it, then I can't portray it like appropriately to my audience. So I don't do it. I don't like everything. Trust me. I don't. Um, so the things I do post is because I feel them. Like I either can relate, um, or either it's a product that I like and I've used personally, or it's food. And that specific item was great to me. Um, that's another thing. Like I'll be like, "Yo, try this item because this was good." You know what I'm saying? Some people would be like, "Yo, you like everything?" I was like, "I haven't tried the whole restaurant. I can just tell you about like this burger. This burger I had with the cheese, onions." And, uh, you know, egg on it is great because I just had it. Um, so I can definitely tell you, like, more about that. Like, blogging is, I got into it, like I said, off of a bet. Somebody said that pretty much Columbia was boring. And I was just like, Shh, just say you don't know where to go, my guy. Uh, so, yeah, I got into it doing that. Uh, overall, though, I mean, I really do love it. It gives me something to do. And then it helps out a lot of people, like, find things around the city because it's so much Columbia's broken down into like pockets like pockets every pocket kind of sticks within that little you know bubble if you will so they don't really venture out to do things they don't want to really do things like whatever's on their side of town or in their pocket that's what they stick to so if you always make uh you always go down the street see the light make right you're gonna forever do that until someone says yo did you check out the left hand side though and then you might look on the left hand side so you know, I, I learned that sometimes you just have to guide people into doing things to be like, yo, just try it out. I mean, you can't really say you don't like the city if you've only explored like 30 percent of it. There's so many side streets like I've been vlogging for a while and I just I go down side streets sometimes. And I'm just like, yo, when did this neighborhood get here? When did this building get here? When did this business pop up? So it's definitely one of those things to where I have a lot of material just in the city that I am that I am in. For everyone, uh, you know, this is Ken Walker. I'm located in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, yeah, you know, a lot of people may think that it's boring here, but it's really not. I mean, it's so much to do. Uh, it's just you have to expand your palate, if you will. Me personally, psh, man, I'm never bored. People don't think that I actually do like chilling at the house sometimes. I just can't do it for a very long extended time. That's my thing. Like, I cannot just sit at home extendedly. Like, that's not my thing. Matter of fact, like, y'all yeah, yeah, let me know in the comments, like, are you a homebody or you one of those people that just cannot be confined to four walls, like, 
consistently or just like it's just one of those things where you just can't sit still um I'm like that because my grandfather's like that. My dad's like that. Like, they will get up and go at the drop of a dime. They just, yo, I don't know. What's today, Tuesday? Psh, let's go. So I kind of got that bug, too. I can't sit at home. Like, I enjoy my house. Like, I enjoy my home. But I'd be like, it's not time to go. If you feel what I'm saying. Like, I'd be like, it's time to up and spend too much time in the house, you know? So, yeah, i will be ready to go sometimes. A lot of times. Like, I can't even lie. But like I said, it's so much to see, and I feel energized by being out. So that's my thing. Um, some people don't feel like that. But, yo, let me know in the comments how y'all be feeling about, like, going out and stuff like that. 